I'm Fanta from League Gamers, and this is my League of Legends vs. Heroes of New Earth video. Hey everyone, this is Fanta from League Gamers. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the similarities and differences between League of Legends and Heroes of New Earth. These two games are very similar. For one, they are both based off the Warcraft 3 mod, Defense of the Ancients. Because of this, they both have the same concept. Also, both of these games are a lot of fun. First, we are going to be focusing on League of Legends and what it has to offer. First off, League of Legends is completely free, however they do sell Riot Points for real money. Because their source of money comes from players buying Riot Points, they come out with tons of new content. League of Legends, in my mind, is a lot more beginner-friendly than Han. I found it a lot easier to get used to and to get better at. So here's some footage I recorded from League of Legends. Um, as you can see down in the bottom right mini-map, there's a lane top, a lane middle, and a lane bottom. There is usually, in both games, uh, two top, one middle, and two bottom. As you can see, I am playing a character called Ash. Uh, playing against a Karthus, I'm using my abilities. You level them up depending on what character you're playing. At level 6, 11, and 16, you can get your ultimate. It only goes to level 3, unlike most other, which is 5. So I'm going to show you a little bit of ganking here, which is important in both of the games. Also, if you see that purple spell and the orange spell, those are summoner spells. They do different things. There's like over 10, I think there's like 12 of them or so that you can use. So I'm just using my abilities to harass this Karthus. And um, ganking is really important in uh, both games. So here's ganking, Garen's ganking. I use my ultimate, which I got at level 6. Um, we kill her, or we're on our way to kill her, him, her. And uh, Garen goes in and gets the last hit. So there we go. That's a gank in League of Legends. It's almost the same thing in Han. So here we go. Here's uh, buying items. Uh, I just want to show you the item uh, HUD. Um, it's pretty similar to Hans, but uh, I would say Hans is way more confusing than League of Legends, and League of Legends uh, HUD is a lot easier to get used to. So uh, check that out when you play them. Uh, you can see I got a Sight Ward and a Mana Potion and a Health Potion. You can get those in uh, Han as well as in League of Legends, and uh, they're very nice uh, to get. I would suggest using them as you start getting a little more used to the game. Um, they provide sight, health, and mana, obviously. So check that out. Here's also me ganking mid, since I'm a higher level than everyone else. I'll be ganking top. So here goes their Mundo and Twisted Fate. I go in with a volley, ignite the TF, I fail ult. Oh well, it happens. Um, everyone gets away, and both of them die. So that's a good gank uh, in League of Legends. So when you get better, try to do that. Uh, as you can see, we've pushed a few towers. Pushing towers is how you win the game. So we're going ahead and pushing this middle tower here. Getting this low. And as you can see, they do a surrender. You can do this in Han as well. It's called Concede. So there's a good League of Legends victory. Next, we'll be taking a look at Heroes of New Earth. First off, unlike League of Legends, Han has a one-time fee of $30. Han is also a lot harder to get used to than League of Legends. In Heroes of New Earth, the items and the item HUD are not easy to understand. Heroes of New Earth is a lot harder to get used to, but once you are good, it's tons of fun. So here's some clips I have from Heroes of New Earth. At the moment, I'm playing Witch Slayer. If you look at the minimap, which is also in the bottom right, you will see that there is three lanes just like League of Legends. Um, you will see my character spells are right in the middle. My items are over on the right. And I will be fighting a character called Pyromancer. Early game, all you want to do is farm minions because farming is a hugely crucial thing in Heroes of New Earth and also in League of Legends. The one different thing about farming creeps is in Heroes of New Earth, you can deny your own creeps, which means once uh, a creep gets low, you can kill it, just like I did right there. Um, by doing, or the way you can do this is by clicking A and then clicking on one of your minions, um, which one you want to target, will uh, get you attacking it. Um, in Heroes of New Earth, you want to make sure that you can time your last hits right, 
because they do give you a bunch of gold uh, which you will need to buy items. Denying uh, a creep will uh, take the gold and the experience that your enemy would have gotten from that. And it, uh, I believe it gives you some. So here we go, he's pyromancer, he tried to nuke me. Or he's attempting to nuke me. As you can see, what I did, just did was cut down a tree to get health. So here we go, I'm going up top to help gank. Ganking just like in League of Legends is awesome. There's a stun, and I use my ult to finish him off. So this is all I have for this uh, Heroes of New Earth part. Um, if you want to check out Heroes of New Earth, make sure to check out the game because I didn't have much uh, in the video for it. So uh, you can uh, find that game on heroesofnewearth.com. The only way you can play without paying for it is by using a trial key, which can only be gotten by someone who has bought it and gotten the two trial keys. This is my conclusion to the LOL vs. Han discussion. League of Legends is a game better for those who want to be able to know what they're doing early on at lower ranks. Heroes of New Earth takes a while to get used to, and in my opinion, is much harder. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to keep subscribing so League Gamers can continue to grow. I'm Fanta from League Gamers, and see you next time.